Yes! <laughs> Finally, we've been promoted. Grandmaster. With mana units only, everybody. We made it. I cannot believe this. I was so afraid that I will not be able to make it. But we made, look at this, it's beautiful. The Grandmaster, after 68 games, we reached above 5,200 MMR, around 5,250 MMR. And we got placed into Grandmasters. What is up, everybody? Mana here with your daily StarCraft 2 content. It's time to start the 26th episode of Mana Units Only to Grandmaster, this time in Grandmaster, the final episode. Enjoy the games, let's go. And we're starting the first game versus a Zerg player. Look at this, it's so beautiful! The Grandmaster border! <laughs> yes, this is what we've been working for. Good luck, have fun. The PVZs have been working absolutely amazing in the late game. And uh, I think overall I have just improved so much in this challenge. Like, I was already struggling a lot at around 4,000, I think, 700 MMR. And it was extremely difficult for me to uh, to win games and i was really doubting if i need to ch change the rules a little bit especially uh, dealing with the terran late game if you are watching uh, this for the first time if this is your first episode that you're watching mana uh, units on it grandmaster i definitely recommend to rewatch at least couple of episodes of the series because i believe pretty much every episode had some crazy games and one was better than the other definitely cannot recommend watching this series enough and I hope this last episode is going to be just as good, or maybe even better to top it off. I was a bit sad that the last episode of my previous series that I was doing, Zealots Only to Grandmaster, I lost like every game pretty much in that episode. So I want to make it a little bit of a better showing this time. Okay, this is a 12 pull. It's a bit bad because on this map you cannot make a very good wall off. You need to... <clears throat> make three big buildings and a pile at the same time. So I'll do just that. Oh, it's gonna be Hatch here. At least he wants to. Okay, I'll not let him make a Hatch. I'll probably lose the probe here though. I think that's fine if I lose the probe. As long as he loses the drone? No? Never mind. Oh, oh it's a full all in then. Okay, I don't mind this. I think it's fine. I think this is still fine. As long as... He doesn't get the hatchery. Wait, the Lynx should be on the way already. He cannot get through. I'm fine here. Oh, there's more Lynx coming. Okay, I'll need to rebuild the Cyber Core then. I'll not be able to finish it. I can make a pylon here, so I'm not too worried. Does he have gas, though? No! Oh, don't... Come on, why do you make a hatchery? He doesn't have gas, so... I'm fine. He's gonna lose too many links here. There's just no way. This cannon is so perfectly positioned. Look at this. He loses all the links before the pilot can finish. He cannot run through. <laughs> Let's go, Proviews! <laughs> That's right, and then I have a... Cybercore finishing. Now I can just make a Stargate. This cannon is in place as well. He has so many... so little drones now. That was perfect defense. Right there. Depending, like, uh, on this map it's so hard to do, I think. But we made it work. We're gonna try to run through. Will not allow it to happen. GG well played. Ah, <laughs> let's go! We didn't even have to use any mana units, but, you know, defending this without a zealot whatsoever, without pulling the probes, on the map that has the, the widest ramp, or whatever you want to call it, choke. Quite impressive. Well done, mana. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Ooh, a PvP, a Restovich, Pidor. <laughs> I don't know why, but it feels like it's like an insult or something, Pidor. Whatever this means. Maybe I should have said that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Again, the same map, Gresvan. I think I remember I had one episode, I think in the beginning of starting this channel, uh, challenge, channel, <laughs> when I had, like, Maybe four or five games in a row on this map. The entire episode was on Gre I think it was Gresvan. I don't know if any of you guys remember that, but I do believe it was this map every single time, like in a row. I wonder if I should just veto it after today's... Uh, today, well, after this game. Just to not get it again. <laughs> well, to be honest, it's not a bad map. 
Like, I do enjoy playing it. I thought it's going to be much worse than I thought it's going to be. But I do enjoy playing this map, and it, it does give some pretty cool late game scenarios. I'm surprised how well it plays out in general. Okay, let's see what the Protoss has in store for us. So yeah, one gate expand on this map is like suicide. It, it's so hard to, to, to make it work. The main is so wide open. And the natural is so wide open as well, right? We, I talked about the choke being so uh, wide. A okay, double gateway. Oh, I'm a bit, a bit early here with the probe. That's okay. Should be fine. Make a wall of like here. I need as much gas as possible. Second pylon. Making cyber core. Where is his second pylon though? Mister, you need your second pylon right about now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the timing. Okay, that gives me an idea that he's not being all in. At least not blindly all in. He might still all in me after that. But it gives me more time to react. Usually when you see the second pylon like that from the Protoss player, gives you the idea of that they want to play more macro. And if they want to harass or do an, uh, an, all, in, uh, an all in, I cannot speak today. It just delays the things, because usually if you want to be aggressive, you make a proxy pylon. You can kind of see that. I think I need a forge, right? I make a third pylon already. Probably make a warp gate. I hate early game PvP so much with this challenge, by the way. It's so difficult to deal with. Like, once I get to... Uh, once I survive the early game, it's all fine. Double stalkers. I need a cannon before... I make a nexus. He stopped making probes, I think. I'll make a battery and a cannon. Just just for the sake of safety. Ideally, you want to make a nexus first. But so be it. This is not a perfectly placed cannon, I think. Maybe I can buy some time. I need to buy some time with the probe. He's likely going to come around with the probe. Uh, with the stalker, so I will try to buy myself time for the cannon to finish. I'll lose the probe. That's the purpose of it. Well, he's not moving out, so maybe it was a bit over eager by me. Okay, then let's go second oracle. Oh, there it is. There's the stalkers, but they're quite late. I will not show him the oracle. Quite important information there for him. Maybe I can lure his stalkers away with the phoenix, with the fake phoenix. Oh, it's the depths. Oh, it's a, st a stargate. That's so good for me. And 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 does he have anything? He made, he made uh, adepts and stalkers are on the other side of the map. He's not in a good position to defend this. Stalkers are coming back. That's fine. He's making an oracle. I can see it with the fake phoenix. He's gonna lose energy. There's going to be adepts coming in soon, so I need to be careful. The oracle is gonna do, deal a lot of damage here. He's gonna warp in the stalkers. I need to be careful about the adepts. There we go. Oh, makes super battery now. Oh, he killed two probes already. I need to recall this. I need to defend the adepts with that. Please! Okay. All good. Remember, he has an oracle on the way. No! Stalker. He did lose a lot there. We need to get the plus one attack on the phoenixes. I'm a bit afraid that the oracle of his is going to deal too much damage to me. Unless he's just going to abandon the plan. Because he saw I have Stargate as well. I don't have a recall, so maybe walking out to the oracles like that is a bit too risky. Because if I meet a phoenix in the middle of the map, it's just going to be dead oracles. Let me use the phoenix's movement now to check for an oracle. It's, maybe it will... Come to the natural. Okay, that's too far away. Let's back off. Let's use the hallucination to see what he's doing. More phoenixes. I like to take a. F oh, yeah. See, this is what I was talking about. Double oracle. Okay, he didn't kill much there. Oof! I was able to react on time. A little bit of F two. Even a hallucinated phoenix helps there. <laughs> Cheeky hallucinated phoenix, guys. Definitely added up the damage. 
Maybe maybe he got scared <laughs> of the hallucinated guy. Okay, can you give me some information, please? Maybe I'll check you third base? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Twilight Council. Very late Twilight Council, though. Very early third base. I, I didn't get to see the third base. Okay, I have an idea. I have four Phoenixes and two Oracles. He's defending the, the main base with a couple of Stalkers and a battery. So what I can do is lift the Stalkers in the main base and then overpower the shield battery defense with double Oracle shots. So that's the idea for now. And I hope I'll be able to do it properly because it's not easy to do. Let's see. That's very good. Perfectly done. Oh, nice. Good harassment right there. I can do it again. I think. There's so many more phoenixes. Remember, his economy is not very good. Okay. I did lose a lot of lifts here. But as long as I have my oracles out... Should be fine. Remember, he doesn't have blink for the longest time. His twilight cancel was relatively late. So I, I would be fine with massing phoenixes now. And ideally, in an ideal situation right now, I would love to lift some stray stalkers. Oh, but it's not stray stalker. Okay, he's going to be attacking me soon. I swear. I need to prepare some defenses as well. It's not only about the harassment and the offense. I don't know which, from which side he's going to attack me though. He's still producing probes. Is he moving out with the stalkers? He might have. Oh, oh shit. Well, that's kind of all in, isn't it? Okay, here we go. He has no battery in the naturals. This kind of all in for him. He doesn't have blank yet. Yeah, I think this is kind of all in. He lost too much. I should be able to easily defend this. I have plus one on the phoenixes as well, so the stalkers are dying like flies in there. And no more energy on the oracles. Yes. Very good defense right there. Pulling the pros was quite crucial to tank the damage. And we made it work. So being super, super cost efficient. I love the move here uh, with uh, lifting up the stalkers and then attacking the double oracle. That definitely gave me a lot of uh, like pressure on my opponent where he felt pressure to attack into me with a low number of stalkers. And that low number of stalkers cannot really fight very well with the amount of phoenixes that I had and the probes at the same time. Oh, we have a rematch versus the same guy. <laughs> Is he going to be cheesy this time or maybe some kind of all-in? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. The rematch is always stressful for me because there's only so much that I can change up in my strategy, you know, <laughs> with the units that I'm allowed to make. You have not <sighs> okay, this time the map is much more favorable to me. This is an actual one gate expand map so it has the ramp up to the natural that gives me the slight advantage over my opponent if they go for a double gate expand or at least in in this challenge because i can e much more easy secure the base here my opponent needs like a high ground vision and there's no easy way to walk around the static defenses that i can put down so these maps in protoss versus protoss are favorable in this challenge I don't think I've played versus a guy that does one gate expand versus me. It's like we kind of mimic each other builds in this challenge yet, which is a bit weird because there are a couple of maps with a ramp up to the natural. And I would I would guess more people would do one gate expand. Let's see if this guy will do it. Yes, he does. Okay. Well, maybe it's, it's still not maybe one gate expand, but it is a good start. Okay, double gas. Get a pylon and a cybernetic scar. I need gas as much as possible. I would not be surprised if this game turned into a Phoenix War. The guy in the previous match, he made he made Stargate opening anyway. So it feels like it might be it might be his comfort zone. So I would not be surprised if he goes for Stargate yet again this time. And I did not have a Phoenix War with this challenge yet, so. Can be quite exciting for the last episode. By the way, I'm very curious if you guys... How, how you guys watch the series. Have you watched every single episode? Did you watch it sporadically? A couple of episodes here and there? 
What's the, what's the episode count that you guys <laughs> watched? Which one was your favorite? Let me know how you enjoy the series. I'm really curious. Oh, he's pulling probes, what? Why? I mean, that's fine by me. He's not scouted me, though. There's the target I was talking about. I guess I can leave the sentry. So this is going to be... Phoenix War. Already? Why? Wait, what? 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 Okay, let me explain why I'm so surprised now. Why does he have a shield battery right now? We made Stargate as soon as possible, pretty much. And he has a full wall off. There's nothing that can happen here. Like, I cannot shade in an adept. This is a full wall off. Why does he have a battery in the middle line already? It just doesn't make any sense. But because he started with a Stargate, I'm gonna start with a Phoenix immediately. Instead of an Oracle. I do believe this is going to be the play. I'm gonna need my own battery right now. Uh, where should I put it? I think here. It's fine. Because if it opens up with an Oracle, one Phoenix is not enough to deal with that. Before I take too much damage, that's why I need to invest into a shield battery. But let's see what he's doing. I want to like meet him in the middle of the map. If it's Phoenix versus Phoenix, then it's a bit awkward because we're probably going to trade Phoenixes unless we both disengage. Let's see, I think it's an Oracle. It is Phoenixes, okay. But I have a better situation. Oh, I have like five probes following the, the probe in the main base. Oops, that's a misclick and a half. Let me get the gases going before I restart my probe production. Alright, so it's all going to be up to the scouting. And macro. We both need to mass Phoenixes. And pretty much one engagement with the Phoenixes and it's over. What I could do is try to use Hallucination to tank the damage, but I also want to see if he's stacking up to the DTs. It's a, it's an important tech swap, so I'll just use the Hallucination not for the fight, but for the scout. I would like to confirm if he is also continuing Phoenix production. This could be just a fake and transitioning into Blink. Man, I've misread the probes twice already in this game. What is this? We have four Phoenixes. Let's see how many he has. Fleet Beacon already, that's a very quick Fleet Beacon. That means I should have more Stalkers Phoenixes than him, no? Oh wait, he has four, anyway. Okay. I need to start Fleet Beacon on my own then. He doesn't have one of the gases taken. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna do the good old bait, look at this. I'm gonna use the Oracle to bait his Phoenixes to the main base. And then the Phoenixes are going to chase the, uh, the, the Oracle, and then the Phoenixes of my own are going to go into the natural. And uh, lift up a couple of probes. That's the plan. Let's see if it's gonna work. Oh, this one is too late. Okay, let's see. Ah, he sees it. Does he see it? Let's see. Is this a bait? Wait, what? Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> okay, that's two probes for free. Remember, he does have Phoenix range much faster than me. So I need to be very, very careful about how I approach this. This does feel like it's going to be like some kind of an account all-in situation for him. Unless he doesn't, he will not use the timing that he has created for himself. I did not make an additional pylon. Oh, I might be behind in the Phoenix production now. That is no good, Chi, guys. No good. I need to hide my Phoenixes, I think. Before I get range. I need a third base as well. Ooh, that supply block is nasty. It's a nasty supply block. Okay, let's put some pylons in the middle of the map. For him to expand, he needs to kill some of his strike. Okay, he has range already, so I need I cannot take the engagement yet. He has a zealot. To kill the pylons, alright. I need to wait for the Phoenix range to finish. Can I kill it? That's good. I don't have range yet, but I will have soon. Okay, it's done. One Phoenix down. I have more Phoenixes here. I can chase one of him. I think I can micro the Phoenixes a bit better than he does. I'll kill one and then back off. Oh, no? Okay. He just wants to retreat. Okay, then. This is a, a bit difficult. I would love to have a, a robot to see where his army at. But I'm not 
Yeah, let's just invest into it. Whatever. I think information is going to be much more crucial than just the numbers of the phoenixes. A forge would be useful as well for cannons. To start to upgrades. In the second cybernetic score. He has a third base dome. One phoenix down. So that's two phoenixes that I killed for free. Can I kill another one? I feel like he's expanding too quickly. Maybe free phoenix here? No. Ah, I almost lost one. Oh, this one is out of position. Nice. He's gone. Stalker gone as well. One phoenix down. Ah, I lost one. I lost two. He lost as well. I lost three. Okay. That's not good. Mm. He's playing this fight very well. I must say. He's doing it quite well. Uh, do I have a forge? I don't have a forge. I think some cannons offensively are, are going to be quite good here. To put some pressure on him. Uh, I do need consistent phoenix production though. Is he taking a fourth? I have the observer. He has already taken a fourth. My god, this guy is good. He has very good Phoenix fight. He has it kind of figured out. Okay, let's take it. <sighs> Making gateways, huh? No, that's not good for me. Ugh! Oh, that was expensive. Okay, now I have the Observer at least. You make some cannons here. Maybe at the front as well? Here? Now I, I can see where his phoenixes are at. It's very important information. I have upgrades as well. There's probes here? He dies. Okay, we can kill some. It's not a lot, but it's something. I think I'm like slightly ahead now. I'm controlling the game much better because I have the vision of the phoenixes, so I can much easily, much easier respond to the positioning of his phoenixes. You can see he has it here, so I can go here in the natural. He has phoenixes between the three bases, so I go to the base that is the furthest away from the phoenixes to help. And we cancel and we go back again. Okay, that's good. Oh, I lost the phoenix count. Uh, the phoenix position. He does have plus one armor. I have plus one attack. But I'm producing with double... Double cyber core. Oh, is he coming? Oh, he has double cyber core as well. Can I lure him here somehow? Mothership would be nice here. I can make a mothership. Of course I can. It's energy unit. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But this mothership could be absolutely a game changer. He doesn't have detection yet. Let me go to the fourth. I need to slowly leap with the cannons. He has nothing to deal with the cannons. That's so funny. The phoenixes are at the third base. Let's back off. Where are the phoenixes? Here they are. Is he making carriers or something we can definitely expand again but i don't want to, to make too many probes in order to have a very good max out army okay the phoenixes are here he's making carriers no i lost some he is making carriers i think the mothership can really close out the game before he has too many Let's see if i can leap a bit forward Oh, he has a mothership as well. Okay. But I have an observer. He doesn't. Okay. Where's my mothership? Come on, lady. Be useful for once, please. Oh, he lost two phoenixes. I'm so far ahead now. I want to finish the game with the mothership, though. That's going to be super cinematic-like. He's... Growing on the on the numbers of the carriers though. I have plus one as well. Man, the upgrades for the air are so expensive. What the hell? 
Can we make them cheaper, please? I'm low on money. <gasps> Garden Shield is going to be great here as well. Come on, Mothership. He has no detection. I think the moment Mothership arrives, he's like super dead. Oh, Mothership, where are you? What? What are you doing here? Okay. Once in a lifetime, Mothership being actual game changer. Can you believe this? I mean, I don't know for sure yet, but it does smell like it. Come on, Mama Ship. Let's go. He has no detection. Let's go, look at this. He has no detection. He has no way of killing this. Phoenixes! No, uh, mothership! It's over. It's over, Anakin. He did a lot of things right in this game, but he just forgot that I can do the same things that he's doing. And he had no detection. Versus a mothership. GG gets cold and we win the game. What a historic moment to see a mothership being so impactful. Look at this, I was three times as efficient, I lost only 20 units in a big fight as well, including the big fight. He was expanding like crazy, but what's the point of having so much money if you don't have detection versus my lovely phoenixes? Alright guys, and with this beautiful victory, we are going to be finishing the episode and completing the challenge of mana units on the Grandmaster. I was very hesitant, I had no idea if I am going to make it to Grandmaster, it was so difficult along the way. But we made it work, we got the Grandmaster, we won so many games, and I feel like I have improved a lot playing this uh, challenge. Thank you so much for watching this series. Let me know in the comment section how many episodes you have watched, how you enjoyed this series, and I'll see you on the next episode of Whatever I Upload. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. Take care, and bye-bye.